Guys, I just bought this big box of toys. You don't even know what I paid for it. Flea market, baby. Toy hunt. Let's do it. All right, guys, it's Rocker the Great. We're here at the flea market. You guys love when I come here. Um, it's it's pretty early. We're gonna get some good stuff. Oh, we're gonna get hit by a car. Let's just go. Let's get right into it and let's look for some deals. Bing bang. All right. So we got some bootleg stuff. There's all different types of people who come here. Sheesh, my hands are freezing already. That's not good. Um, yeah, so people were actually asking in a, a previous video, does the flea market close and it doesn't it doesn't really close it's just like if people decide not to come then nobody shows up and you got empty tables like this so as long as as long as people are willing to come and hang out in the cold then then it's open so but you could still get i've got some of my best deals when it was just freezing and and not a lot of people showed up you know it makes sense right This guy usually has some toys. Let's see. Oh, Oh, that's what I needed. This is one thing the flea market always has are these quesadilla makers, always. There's like always one on a table. It's so weird. I guess they were really popular once or something. Quesadilla makers. Always checking the shirts. Oh, I thought this was a freaking Jigglypuff for a second. Oh, this is not bad right here. These usually sell. There's some Christmas stuff over there. We should go check. Let's go check over your Christmas stuff. So I've listened to you guys. You guys say you want more. Ooh, I think someone's got stuff over there. You guys want more flea market videos. You're going to get them. Um, there is some stuff. Let's go see. So everyone's gathering around that guy's car over there. So there might be something going on here. A lot of times when someone comes and they're unloading, people all crowd the car and just go crazy. So that might be happening over here. Let's see, like a lot of diggers. Uh, it's antiques. It's one thing I don't care about is really old stuff. 90s. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, here we go. Game Boy Advance. Oh, dude, love. <laughs> the 
these are cool. Anything over there? No. Oh, here's some stuff on the floor right here. Anything down here? Probably. Uh, do I want to look? That's the thing. I got really lazy. Oh, what's this? What's this? Oh, I remember this. Hold on. Hold on. I think I got to get this. I remember this. Let's see. They got other stuff over there. Trashman. This is cool. Teeny babies. Oh, I remember that guy. Mega Mind. You guys heard that? That was a weird conversation just now. Alright. Oh, let me see. Yeah, I gotta get this. Stickers. Alright. Alright, thank you. Oh, Toy Fair. that I gotta get this okay uh, hold on let's see guys I just bought this big box of toys you don't even know what I paid for it flea market baby toy hunt let's do it today perfect all right guys we just got back and I got from only two tables. So this was one table and this has some cool vintage. Everything's vintage and old. Now, what sold me on this was I saw the vintage Dragon Ball Z uh, body things. I remember these and I saw a bunch of old stuff. Look, here's a Voltron. So then instead of looking through these, a lot of times I'll just say, hey, what price is, it? you know, like, what are you asking? And if he was saying anything but the price he said, I would have said, forget about it. But the dude said, should I tell him? The dude said $6. What? And I was like, cha-ching. And then on top of the $6, he threw this in. So this is a pretty good Batmobile. You could use this for the 112th scale, like, you know, six inch action figures. People have been using this one. It's a really nice Batmobile. So this alone could probably get 20 bucks right there. And then I saw a bunch of Power Rangers and Transformers. I said, this is gonna be really cool. We're gonna look through this today. But first, here's a little bag. So this lady was like, oh. So this lady was like a, a really nice lady. And she had, hun, do you remember this? I think I had this exact thing. And look at this. You know what triggered me? Was that Beanie Babies club member card. I'm pretty sure I had this. I was like a big, this is 98. So I was eight years old. I would have remembered. I think it, this has water damage, but it doesn't matter. Everything seems to be in here. Oh, these are the, oh, these are the cases for the tags. Look, Coraletti's Hallmark. Those are the tags. That's not supposed to be in here. That's awesome. So, you know, I just, re I the other day I got a Beanie Baby binder. 
and I'm just, I'm like getting all this Beanie Baby stuff because it's just so nostalgic. So, uh, what, what I paid for all this is wild too. So now everyone's on a Spider-Man kick. Here are some vintage Spider-Man 3 stickers sealed. Uh, put that there because I got like a, a lot price. Now here's this guy. I don't know what he is. Hasbro. So this is a G.I. Joe guy. I bought him for the pants. I was going to put him on... Maybe put these pants on my fat cap, uh, my goose faba figure. My, uh, what's it called? Prototype. My prototype figure. So I'll probably take, he I'll probably take this man's pants off hey, yo. and sell the figure. This is a, like a little articulated football guy. I'm sure he's something. He has decent articulation. That's why he's probably McFarlane. McFarlane made these weird sports figures. An old magazine that, um, they just have really cool ads in it. So I see a lot of people actually getting these old Toy Fair ads for toys and like they cut them out and make posters of them and stuff. So I just thought like, I'm gonna start collecting all the Toy Fairs I find. And I don't even think they're cheap either. Look, these are old Marvel Legends. Look at this, old, look, the Deadpool wave Marvel Legends. Let me see, what, what year is this? 2005? Yeah, 2005. So I was 15 years old when this came out. So I'm, I, guess what I paid for all of this? Two. They wanted three. I said two. She said, okay. So I, I, I got it from that lady. So I'm going to dig through this. And at the end, I'm going to show all the good stuff and uh, throw out all the bad stuff. I'm super excited. Let's go. All right, guys. So I went through things and oh boy, it is a freaking mess. Sometimes I, I don't even want to buy things like this just because you have to go through them and it's pretty crazy. But there was a little of everything. We have old tech decks. These Dragon Ball Z things almost had a complete Vegeta. So close, but a lot of them are missing parts. Whatever. We have some Gundam stuff, some Pokemon stuff, Imagine X, Transformers. Um, we have an old Voltron thing. A lot of Ninja Turtle stuff, which is cool. And then a ton of Power Ranger stuff, which I think... That's where I'm gonna, see look, I didn't even finish over here, but the Power Ranger stuff is like where I'm gonna make the money back. There's definitely the money here though, of what I paid. And I don't know if I told you guys, but I paid $6. Look at that, that's Ninja Turtles. This is some Zord parts, Ninja Turtles. I paid $6 for all of this stuff. That Batmobile alone, like, you know what I mean? This is green toys, Hun was telling me about this. This is like, uh, eco-friendly recycled plastic these things aren't cheap uh, it's just not bad I'm, I'm happy but the sad part about doing these things is I have to go through all this I have to sort it I have to put it places I got a bag of garbage I'm already throwing some stuff out but for six dollars guys you can't pass this up what do you think what do you think of today's video I know a lot of people have been saying do more flea market videos I'm gonna do them I'm gonna do them the flea markets haven't been the best but you could always leave there with something as you see in today's video. So leave comments down below. Uh, you know, if you want more videos like this, you've got to engage with the videos so we could do more of them. So stay great, guys. Let's go to another toy hunt and uh, we're out of here. Peace. Guys, we're at the PO box right now and we have the biggest box. So what the heck is in here? Let's check this. Hey there. Want to send something into the channel? Well, I have a PO box. Everything gets opened up on camera. Guys, let me break in here and just let you guys know about my channel memberships. Say you like the channel, you want to help support, or you just want more content, becoming a channel member unlocks hours and hours and hours of exclusive content that is just for my channel members. Think about becoming one and shout out to all the people who are channel members. The link is down below in the description. You want to become a channel member. It'll explain everything. It says low as $5 a month. Every little bit helps. It all goes back into the channel to give you guys more content.